Hi there Pisces and this is your February love monthly forecast reading with me Chrissy from in the stars by Chrissy.com and just like I promised you last month I am definitely going to do your reading first this coming February 2020 so um yeah let's see what's going on with you guys i kind of feel that for pisces though there is a huge energy change of focus change of vibration that is going to be happening for you especially for um this month and it's going to revitalize you and re-energize your your well-being and your overall function in life and not just about your love and relationships as a whole and especially for some of you guys i kind of feel that for a lot of pisces there could be some waiting zone waiting for things to happen waiting for something to begin and to start and i kind of feel that february could be the month we're in you know finally things are happening and things are you know going to move forward i feel and i kind of feel that for other people you know there could be some form of karmic um event karmic movement in the air that could be changing for you this month as well because we do have the wheel of fortune and the ace of wands overall in this reading so this makes me feel that you know there is something that is about to happen something is about to change in your life and you could be also in a point wherein you want some form of answers you are wanting clarity to a certain situation to a certain relationship and maybe you know this could be also an idea that comes to you like something comes into your mind if you wanted to do something like this or if you want to initiate something i kind of feel that this could be the time wherein you might actually take action on whatever guidance that comes to you because pisces are very intuitive people and you might get your answers through dreams or things that you hear repeat repetitively those kinds of things can come into mind I just kind of feel that this could be the month wherein you might see a, a shift in terms of your love life. You know, it doesn't matter whether you're single, in a relationship, in a complicated relationship, or in a marriage. You know, I just kind of feel that there's going to be some form of change happening for you, definitely, for sure. And it could be that something that you have been waiting on, or maybe something that, you know, um, you have been wishing on, but is not necessarily happening. I also feel that a lot of you guys are coming to a point wherein there is some form of problem in a certain relationship. You know, there could be, you know, a time to get answers in that relationship, a time to get clarity into that problematic situation in terms of your love life. I do see here that, you know, there could be a karmic love affair happening. It is showing us in the past the devil card over here. So, you know, you have this, sorry, this is the lover's card, not the devil card. So, um, yeah, there is a karmic situation happening over here. In terms of a relationship, of course, we do have the will fortune, um, making a bridge over the ace of wands and the lover's card so it gives me a sense of there is a powerful connection in your life and it could be someone from the past and this person is i kind of feel that you know you might need to fix something in that relationship usually the lovers comes up whenever relationship is in focus and it does not always mean a love relationship it could be a connection we, you have with a certain person in your life and it could be also pertaining to decision makings that you might have to make in that setup 
So it is showing me here that relationship is on your mind and some form of movement is going to be happening in that area. And if you have any problems like miscommunication, upsets in terms of relationship, this could be the time wherein you are going to find answers into that. Maybe you guys are going to, to communicate on something and finding the bridge to to meet halfway that is the energy that i'm getting here there is really some form of strong strong energy coming in so this is not a point of hopelessness actually this is a form wherein something is going to be happening in your life that gives you some form of hope some form of vitality in your life and it gives your relationship some form of shape so um yeah making peace with someone or harmonizing a certain relationship is going to be very possible this can also be the time we're in you will find out something maybe someone is interested in you and maybe you don't know about it you have no idea but you have a very strong attraction that you are vibrating at this time so there's definitely some form of um, connection right there in the near future we are being shown here that something is going to be happening for you that gives you some form of highest emotional fulfillment and it could be a reunion we do have this reunion card along with the nine of hearts which is the wish fulfilling card the wish card so um and it gives you always wonderful surprises and the queen of cups over here along with the hermit so there is something that you are going to realize and find out and it raises your vibration of comfort so you know february is really definitely going to be a good month overall for you guys there is going to be a lot of opportunities that you might be initiating as well so and it could be that communication is going to be a big factor overall here the energy of reconciling happy get-togethers and um, a lot of engagement with people that gives a form of um, happy environment hap like a happily ever after or just enjoying the moment that kind of feeling is coming in very strongly over here though i do see that you know for some of you guys there is a huge tendency to fear a lot of things as well like you know whenever things are becoming positive for you maybe you are afraid or you are being fearful that you are going to lose this connection you are going to lose this happy feeling that you have but i kind of feel that you know you should not really give in to those thoughts because you are going to pick up a lot of energies and at the same time that you are picking up a lot of posi positive energies you are going to pick up the negatives as well and maybe if you have trauma in the past that can resurface as well but i kind of feel that you know it's not something that should be overwhelming to you because it is showing me here that there is going to be a happy situation a happy scenario that is going to be unfolding for you and if this is not a reunion from someone in the past and it's showing us here that you know you are going to attract someone that can lead to some form of partnership that you know that can really make you happy overall and at the end of the day though you got to trust the process and to balance things out and don't let the the energies and emotions overwhelm you because the moment that you get overwhelmed with your emotions you become a lot sensitive and the moment that you try to give meaning to every action every word that the other person is saying you end up having a spiral of events thinking of the negative thing you know you're always thinking of what is the meaning of this and it does not have to be in that kind of 
sense, you know? It doesn't have to, to have a big meaning to it. It just needs to make you feel good, you know? You don't need to question everything that the other person is telling you. And right now, I just kind of feel that trusting the process and enjoying the moment comes of importance here. And you will find happiness and true meaning of what <laughs> joy and happiness is really all about by living in the moment. So balancing yourself in the present moment is going to be a bigger factor here. But, you know, I really don't see anything negative here. All I see is really positive possibilities that could come for you and energy to communicate what you truly feel is coming in as well so you have the chance to resolve things that need some form of resolving like if a relationship is about to separate i kind of feel that this is a time we're in there is a huge chance to be able to fix things and to make things up together you know kiss and make up um those kinds of things there there is a lot of romantic energy that i'm picking up over here there could be a lot of sex as well and all i can say is that this could be the month that brings you a lot of hope a lot of joy and a lot of opportunities can begin that i kind of feel that for a lot of you you will feel that your 2020 is starting not on january but actually on february so um yeah this is this is it for your reading it is really a very positive one very karmic spiritual as well but very exciting at the same time and if you are someone who is going to experience this i kind of feel that i have to congratulate you because i kind of feel that it makes it gives a feeling as if things are finally happening in your way and especially if you have been having disturbances or problems in your relationship this could be the time wherein you guys will be able to communicate effectively so yeah it is perfect for the love month for pisces and um yeah i'll see you again next month and if you'd like a more personal reading just like this one you can do that by reaching out to me by booking a session on my website in the stores by and i'll see you guys again next month